this is the end of Barlow Point. As you can see, it's a very shallow tidal area that necks down and creates a ton of force and flow in between the end of that set of islands on the right and the actual point, which is on the left side there. So I had approached these kind of spots with extreme caution, and I try to keep a look around for rocks and obstructions and stuff like that while trying to keep a good amount of force going into the current similar to going upstream in a river here so some of these sometimes you can't really even make way going up current in spots like this because there's so much force and flow so you just have to wait it out and see what you can do and not try to get stuck in some white water with the current and tide here. What you're seeing here is the one of the entrances to Barlow Cove. Straight ahead is the end of Mansfield Peninsula, which is the northernmost peninsula of Admiralty Island. Over to the left, the head of this cove goes for another up four nautical miles back towards the main branch main area of Admiralty there. So what we'll do eventually if you stick with me here in this video is we'll head up to the northernmost part of Admiralty Island where there's a lighthouse and some fishing going on here. 
I've been told there's crab in here. Used to, there used to be king crab in here. I'm not sure anymore, but yeah, there might be. This whole spot's just a big funnel. I, I would think if I was a big old halibut, I'd just lay it right out in the mud right here and just open up my pie hole every time something swam past. Got this huge cut right here pouring right in between two islands here, the end of a main point and a divided island here. It's a lot of current. So, I don't know, looks like it's worth a shot to me. We'll see, it's a lot of line. Wonder if I'm on the bottom. We should be coming up on slack tide here pretty quick. Which is probably the only real way you're going to fish an area like this in that deep of water. Where you're talking six to a thousand feet of water. If the tide's cranking one direction or the other incoming or outgoing, I don't think you'd ever hit the bottom without using a really heavy jig. So this is actually pretty good timing right now to kind of just let that bait bounce around in, the, in an area to see if there's anything down there. Here's the Point Retreat Lighthouse Station, which marks a bunch of reefs in the point on the northernmost point of Admiralty Island. Point Retreat Lighthouse. Yeah, we're not going ashore, okay? You don't have to worry, we're not going ashore. And what I wouldn't give just to be the keeper out here. I guess, it, you know, back in the day, you just would apply, they'd hire you. No, it doesn't look like anybody's there anymore. Well, if I got stuck out here, I know where I would go right away. I think it's pretty apparent why they call this point retreat. Got protection. Protection open Let's 
see what it looks like when we go around the corner here. Plenty of tide. I'm sure this area has seen its fair share of rough weather. Amazed if I get this one up. Oh, jeez. Screwing around. Same, I'm pretty sure it's the same fish. Stripped me clean before. like a halibut. I think we're coming up right on slack tide right now so everything's kind of just hanging right in position. Pacific Cod. Give him a kiss. Okay.
space here. Close up. Extreme close up. Whoa. Well, we tried. There was some bait activity on the surface right around here. And there still is. There's a lot of bait fish schooling around. So right now I'm just surface trolling a little rig with a spoon and small diver and a Keel weight or banana weight. Usually you can get down to at least where the fish are schooling, but what happens with all this bird activity is that the fish will come in underneath that. The fish are a lot of times actually schooling the bait up to the surface, and consequently the duck and gulls will land and pick them off. We actually, I was watching uh, eagles pick them off a little bit earlier here, which was kind of neat to see. SR, Strauss Rock, Lateral Can Buoy. Submerged rock over there somewhere. So, what I was talking about before bait balls, fish moving bait up to the surface. So, I kind of thought that's what was going on over here. Then I drove up to it. And what's that? Looks to me like a dead seabird. So you kind of have to wonder what the hell happens when the, you come across this kind of stuff here. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of things end up dying. Oh. It looks like it's, uh, it's back's kind of ripped open. I bet that eagle killed it. Yep, I can almost guarantee you. Without getting too... Yep, that's his back's torn right up open. That thing is freshly, freshly croaked off. Oh, these are all his buddies and they're probably... I don't know, weird, like a memorial service for their friend. How strange, they're just all circling right around them. I've never seen anything like that. Like to stand up 
when I'm approaching spots like this here. Oh, look at that little harbor seal over there. Big old raft over there, that's surf scoter. These are, I forget what those are called, I'm not sure. They just came in not too long ago this time of year. Let's see if I can get stuck in here. Well, these are oyster catchers we probably should get out of here so they come and migrate up here and do some nesting but you can tell by their real long orange beak bill pretty cool to see there's a lot of them out here Oyster catcher. You know, I live here year round. You know that, Mr. Oyster Catcher, don't you? I'll give you your space, though. Because I like you. Explorers out on the beach over there having fun. I think I found a prime 
oyster catcher nesting area. Here's three of them. Looks like they're trying to pair up. Three's a crowd. I don't think I've ever seen that many of them. been fortunate enough to uh, have been working with avian researchers and been able to measure some of the uh, smaller ones after they hatch and they still have their egg tooth. It's pretty neat to see. Well, I better get going. I don't want to disturb them too much here. Well, I just drove 16 miles one, one way to catch a cod. <laughs> oh, oh well, it was a beautiful day. I'm not complaining. It's any day out here, well, almost any day, except when it gets rough and nasty out. Uh, it's better than a day sitting in office I guess unless you really enjoy your job you know that kind of thing <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna get out of here this is Tidemaster out